Hi everyone and welcome back to Bonnie's Kitchen and today we're baking. I'm going to be baking uh, a recipe I've had for years and it's called an orange soaked cake that's made in a bun tin. But I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment. I love rhubarb. Spring is here and rhubarb is so good right now here in Ontario anyway. So I'm going to use rhubarb in this cake. So come on and let's see how it turns out. I'm using my food processor today, but you certainly can uh, beat this by hand. So I'm starting with uh, one cup of uh, softened butter. And I'm just going to cream that. All right. And to that, I'm adding two cups of granulated sugar. Do you have rhubarb growing in your garden? There's nothing better. Do you like rhubarb? And you know what? If you didn't want to do rhubarb, uh, uh, this recipe, you can omit it. But this is what I'm trying today. And then to that, I'm going to be adding Once that's cream, I'm going to add four eggs. Do you like to uh, experiment with recipes? I do. And you know what? It's kind of fun to try that. While that's mixing, I'm just going to preheat my oven to, it says here to uh, 325. Okay, to my sugar, uh, eggs and butter mix, I'm adding three cups of all-purpose all flour. And then to that, I'm, it says two teaspoons of baking powder. And of course, a little bit of salt. I'm adding a half a teaspoon.
just blend that. I'm adding one cup of uh, milk. I happen to have just 1%, but use whatever milk you have. And I have two tablespoons of orange zest. I'm going to add my rhubarb. I think what I'm going to do is just um, powder just a, a little bit of powder to my rhubarb. And then I'm going to add this my batter. About three to four cups, whatever you have. And I'm going to blend that. greased and floured my bunt tin. If you want to spray it with um, uh, oil spray, do that. I just always just use the butter and, and flour. into the pan. This is going to bake for about an hour, just over an hour. I will keep checking it and when that toothpick comes out clean, then I know it's done. Now, what makes this an orange soaked is I'm going to be making a glaze that will be poured over the warm cake. So I'm going to finish doing this and then we'll go over to the stove and do the glaze. Okay, for my glaze, I'm just going to add um, half a cup of sugar and two thirds cup of orange juice. It's just a simple syrup. And I'm gonna stir this constantly and bring it to a boil. And then when it's done, I'll keep it warm because once my cake is done, I will pour it, this glaze, over my warm cake. So this uh, cake has come out perfectly from the pan and it's still warm. It did take about an hour and 15 minutes to cook. Uh, I've got it on my rack here and I've got a piece of parchment paper underneath. And I'm just going to take my skewer and just put holes all over the top of this cake, not all the way through. I made quite a few of these cakes 
for a, a bazaar that we had at our work. And I'm telling you, these cakes went like hot cakes. Hot cakes. Did you get that? <laughs> so very delicious. Oh. This uh, orange juice glaze. I'm just going to spoon this all over the cake. So I'm going to keep doing this and then I'm going to let the cake cool completely. All right, let's cut into this cake and see my new, uh, this is my recipe that I've made. So uh, adding the rhubarb. Look at that. And the rhubarb is marbled really nice through there. Let's give it a try. You can add more rhubarb or less, whatever you like. Delicious. I like the rhubarb in there. And the top, where we put that syrup, it's made the top really a little bit crispy, crunchy. Mm -hmm. I will do this again. My orange soaked rhubarb cake. I'll put the recipe below, give it a try and let me know what you think. See you again.